When a suspect is racing down the highway at full speed, cops have to take drastic actions to bring them to a quick stop. From bursting their tires to hooking them like a fish or sending them rolling down the road with a pit maneuver, these police stopping methods are extreme to say the least. In today's video, we will be uncovering the most dangerous police stopping methods that officers use to outsmart and catch the bad guys who are on the run. Sit tight and grab some snacks because this is going to be a wild ride. Number one, spike strip. Imagine that you are in the middle of a high-speed chase, heart racing and adrenaline pumping. The suspect's car is speeding down the road ahead of you. What can you do to stop them? Enter the spike strip, the ultimate tool for law enforcement. So, what is this spike strip? Think of a suitcase, but instead of clothes, it's got a four meter long spike strip inside. It weighs about 16 kilograms, which is pretty heavy, but worth it for what it can do. Here's the deal. Timing and precision are everything. In just five seconds, this suitcase turns into your secret weapon. The officers set it down, back off at least 100 meters for safety, and hit a button. Boom. The spike strip is deployed, ready to stop any car that drives over it. But how do cops actually use it? It starts with some solid prep work. Cops get trained to deploy the spike strip quickly and safely. Usually, they work in teams to make sure it all goes off without a hitch. One officer handles laying out the strip, while others keep the area secure and manage traffic. First, they pick a good spot to set up, somewhere with a clear view of the suspect's car and enough time to get the strip in place. They pull the suitcase out of their vehicle, pop it open, and stretch the strip across the road. Then they step back and wait for the suspect to drive over it. Simple, but super effective. Number two, mobile spike. Next up, we have the mobile spike strip. It's designed for cops to take it with them on the go. This isn't about setting up an ambush and waiting. This is about being ready to act wherever the chase leads. The mobile spike strip is mounted on the front bumper of the police car. When the officer gets close to the suspect's vehicle, they can deploy the strip from inside their car. The spikes shoot out and slide under the suspect's wheels. Within a minute, the tires are flat, bringing the chase to a safe and controlled end. Cops spend a lot of time training to be good at this system. They focus on precision and timing in order to lay the spike strips down as fast and securely as possible, thus protecting all parties involved. The strip has teeth that pierce any car which runs over them. As the car moves, the spikes stay in the tires and gradually let the air out. This mobile spike is able to go over almost any type of terrain without any difficulty, whether it be sand, gravel, snow, or even flooded streets. A culprit might feel that they're on the verge of making a clean getaway, but once they cross this lane, it's game over. After about 100 meters on flat tires, they have no choice but to stop. Once the suspect's car has been disabled, the strip can be quickly pulled back, keeping damage to a minimum. How cool is that? Number three, RF Safe Stop. The RF Safe Stop is a device that feels like it is out of a sci-fi movie. It can stop cars dead in their tracks without using any spikes or barriers. It is small, portable, and works on both land and sea. Once it is turned on, any nearby vehicle comes to a sudden stop. No high-speed chases, no drama, just a calm stop, like hitting the brakes on a Sunday drive. Now that may sound dangerous, but the inventors actually thought of that already. RF Safe Stop actually brings the suspect's car to a gradual stop, so there is no danger. This is no magic device, though. It actually works using science. RF Safe Stop works by sending out signals that disrupt the normal operation of a vehicle's engine control unit, ECU, which is like the brain of the engine. When these signals are received, the ECU can be tricked into initiating a controlled shutdown of the engine, bringing the vehicle to a stop. It's similar to how pressing the brakes slows down a car, but in this case, the RF Safe Stop 
remotely triggers the vehicle to stop safely. And the best part? It's not only for chasers. It is almost like a Swiss army knife that can stop any troublemaker in his or her tracks, whether on land or at sea. So boats are fair game too. The RF safe stop is the perfect tool for cops to bring culprits down in a high speed chase. Talk about a game changer. Number four, grappler. Ever wondered how cops can safely stop a runaway car without causing a huge wreck? Enter the grappler, a game changing piece of tech that's revolutionizing high speed chases. This isn't your average police tool. It's like something straight out of an action movie, designed to catch fleeing cars with precision and control. The grappler is basically a heavy-duty net attached to the front of a police car. Think of something straight out of a Batman movie, but instead of catching bad guys in Gotham, it's grabbing runaway cars on the highway. With the press of a button, the net shoots out from the front of the police car. The officer has to get really close to the back wheel of the suspect's car, Timing and precision are everything. The goal is to get close without putting themselves in danger and deploy the net at just the right moment. Once the net wraps around the tire, it tightens up and stops the wheel from turning. This is where the grappler really shows its smarts. A bungee cord attached to the net helps bring the runaway car to a safe stop pulling it right in front of the police car and ending the chase without a big crash. If the suspect is driving his car at a high speed through the traffic, surprise. It may appear like they are using a pity maneuver, but then bam, the grappler deploys. The net grabs the back wheel and in a few seconds, the car is brought to a safe stop. It's a highly efficient and safe way to stop the pursuit. The grappler relies on smart engineering instead of raw strength. It is not about the car running off the road or the big crash. It is really about accuracy and control, making sure that the suspect, as well as the police officers, are safe. Number five, stop stick. This next gadget is a police favorite. Almost 300,000 patrol cars have them, and it is clear why. The design is extremely simple, but very effective. Stop sticks are made from cartridges with hidden needles and bases. You can be very creative with these. Either you can connect several bases at about four meter distance, or just take one cartridge and put it just next to the suspect's car wheel. The needles are about five centimeters long, and they would even destroy the self-sealing tires when they hit them. The great thing about the stop stick is its flexibility. Police can very quickly deploy them when they need to catch a fleeing vehicle, and they can also set them up in advance for roadblocks. The pins go through the tires and make them deflate slowly, almost like a magic wand that you just throw and do away with a fleeing criminal. Number six, Crook Hook. This police stopping tool is very aptly named, the Crook Hook, and it looks like one too. A huge metal claw is hanging on the front of the police car. It is like something from a science fiction movie. This grabber reaches out and latches onto the back of the suspect's car, the way a shepherd's crook would catch a stray sheep. Hence, it is called crook hook. So here is how it works. The police car approaches the suspect's vehicle closely during the chase. The officer turns on the crook hook, which is a mechanical arm that extends forward. The hook is meant to stay at the back of the fleeing car and lock on the frame or the axle. The police vehicle then applies the brakes, making the other car also stop in a controlled manner. Timing and precision are the main things to make this method successful. The cop has to get as close as possible without risking their own safety and then release the hook at the appropriate time. Unlike other methods that are more forceful or risky, the crook hook is all about control. With the crook hook, police officers are experiencing great success. It is particularly useful in congested urban areas where a high-speed chase could endanger many people. The crook hook 
provides police officers with an accurate and secure way to stop a car, ensuring the safety of both the police and the citizens. Plus, it looks cool as heck. Number seven, pit maneuver. Now, we have the most extreme car stopping method, which is PT technique. PT maneuver stands for precision immobilization technique. To put it simply, it is a tactic of law enforcement to catch a car fleeing by making it spin around and stop. Sounds intense, right? Well, it is. A cop car usually chases a suspect vehicle and the officer maneuvers his car alongside the rear quarter panel of the fleeing vehicle. Next, they maneuver to the rear bumper of the suspect's car or the side with perfect timing. Next, they push the car and cause it to lose control and spin out. It is like a scene out of a Hollywood action movie, but it's in real life, and you can see it on the streets. Now you may ask, is this safe? Well, like any police tactic, it has its risks. This is why cops have to go through elaborate training to master the piety maneuver. They're taught how to judge the chase speed and angle, and also when to use the maneuver. The PRT maneuver can be a lifesaver if done correctly. It has the ability to end a chase in a short amount of time, and by doing so, minimizes the chance of innocent people getting harmed. Number eight, hedgehog barriers. All right, let's move on to the hedgehog barriers. This beast is definitely a stopper, and I mean that literally. No car will be able to move if it's in its way. This wall can not only stop a car or a truck, but also a tank. So, what exactly is a hedgehog barrier? Just imagine a classic anti-tank hurdle known as a Czech hedgehog. It's a simple but super effective setup. You have two X-shaped elements that are in the form of a cross, and they fit together and lock into place. That's it. The smaller one is about 40 kilograms, while the biggest one can reach over 300 kilograms in weight. These barriers are made in the Czech Republic and are quite popular in Europe and the Middle East. They have a tough design, therefore, they are a preferred choice for securing the areas against unauthorized vehicles. Here is how the police use them. Picture a situation where there's a high risk of vehicles trying to break into a secure zone. The cops can quickly roll out these hedgehog barriers to create a roadblock that's almost impossible to get through. Whether it's protecting a VIP, securing a protest site, or setting up a defensive perimeter in a risky situation, these barriers get the job done. If a vehicle tries to ram through, the hedgehog barrier's tough, interlocking spikes dig into the tires and undercarriage, stopping it dead in its tracks. Even a tank would struggle to get past these things. This makes them super handy for police and security forces. In real-world situations, cops use these barriers to control access to sensitive areas, manage crowds, or handle emergencies where there's a risk of vehicle attacks. They're quick to set up and just as quick to remove, making them perfect for situations that can change in a flash. Number 9. Archie Barrier Just imagine a massive 3,000-kilogram defense system that can stop any vehicle. And when I say any vehicle, I mean any whether it be a car or a bus. This is exactly what an Archie barrier is. Unlike permanent barriers, the Archie is temporary, which means that it can be set up and taken down as required. So how does this work? The Archie barrier is a central blockade with a strong base. The bollards are designed to hit the car hard when it tries to ram through. However, it is not limited to that. The bottom of the barrier rises up, and the car's forward motion becomes upward movement. In other words, it pushes the front of the car up, thus stopping it immediately. Think of a car which is out of control and heading towards a group of pedestrians. The Archie barrier not only stops the car, but also does so in a way that saves lives. The impact and the lift work together to make sure that the vehicle cannot go any further thus protecting everyone around. But does it really work? Absolutely. The Archie barrier has been through many situations and has definitely shown its strength. 
The coolest thing about the Archie Barrier is how many different ways you can use it. As it is temporary, it can be deployed in different locations when required. If it is a high-speed chase or a vehicle attempting to break into a secure place, this obstacle is what gets the job done. Number 10. Modular Vehicle Barrier Imagine a toolbox, but instead of wrenches and screwdrivers, it's stocked with a mobile fortress. This sci-fi device is actually real, and cops use it to catch speedsters. The modular vehicle barrier weighs approximately 53 pounds, but believe me, it's worth its weight in gold. Here's the deal. Timing and precision are the most important. Only in a few minutes, this toolkit becomes an officer's saving grace. Officers roll out the tire deflation device, set it up, and put it in place, prepared to stop any car that attempts to cross it. Officers are taught to handle the modular vehicle barrier with speed and safety, using teams to make sure the process is smooth. The leader is responsible for the installation of the barrier, while others take care of security and traffic control. First, they survey the area to find the best location to deploy, which will give them a clear view of the suspect's car and enough time to put up the barrier. They unload the modular vehicle barrier from their car, set it up on the side, and place it across the road. Just like that, bam! Even a truck can be stopped dead in its tracks. Number 11, XNet. This next stopping method used by the cops is quite ingenious. The XNet is a quick, sure way to bring a fleeing vehicle to a halt. Think of it like an upgraded version of a spike trap. The device was first designed for the British Army, but it is now used to stop speeding vehicles without all the tire-bursting drama of spike strips. The police place the X-Net across the road, just like the spike strips. However, instead of popping the tires, the hook-like spikes latch onto the axles and wheels. When the car goes over the net, the spikes catch the tires and the net is wrapped around them. This is the final step that causes the net to tighten and eventually stop the wheels from turning, which leads to the car coming to a standstill. This is especially useful when you want to avoid causing too much damage and keep everyone safe. The X-Net has the biggest advantage of how it slows a vehicle to a controlled stop. A traditional spike strip can create a tire blowout that makes driving the vehicle difficult to handle. The X-Net encircles the wheels and axles, which brings the car to a stable halt. Number 12, Tire Stopper. Next on our list is the Tire Stopper. This thing isn't just another roadblock. It's a gadget that spikes out in the middle of the road, ready to mess up any vehicle trying to pull a fast one. Coming. But the cool part is, it's hydraulic system. With a push of a button, these huge five-inch spikes pop up, turning the road into a no-go zone. And when the chaos dies down, those spikes hide away and the road's back to normal like nothing ever happened. Setting this thing up is very easy. Cops just roll up, place it where it'll cause the most trouble for our speeding friend, and bam! The spikes are up and the road's locked down. When the suspect's car hits those spikes, it's pretty much the end of the line. Tires blown, chased over, and everyone's safe again. Seriously, the tire stopper is like the unsung hero of police gear. It's not just stopping cars, it's putting a stop to the entire chase scene. Number 13, net barrier. All right, let's talk about the net barrier. This thing is a total game changer when it comes to stopping runaway vehicles. Imagine a truck weighing 15,000 pounds speeding down the road at 50 m -hafe. Seems unstoppable, right? Well, not if you got one of these. The net barrier can be installed on any road. It has this huge mesh that can stretch anywhere from 20 to 80 feet wide. Generally, it is out of sight, hidden in an underground compartment so it doesn't affect the regular traffic flow or anything. But this is where it becomes really interesting when there is a real need to stop a vehicle in an emergency, the barrier pops up in just two seconds. It jumps from zero to a full-on roadblock, all set to catch any vehicle that's trying to run away. 
Not only is this device very powerful, but it is also very fast and flexible, coming to the rescue when things could really turn bad. And that is the end of our trip through these awesome methods for cops to stop dangerous car drivers. From the high-tech gadget, RF Safe Stop, to traditional teamwork and strategy, law enforcement is employing all the possible ways to protect our streets. Therefore, the next time you see those flashing lights in your rearview mirror, remember that they can stop the car whenever they want with these methods. Be sure to drop a comment letting us know which one of these was your favorite. We would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, why not drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in your feed. Until our next upload, drive safe and goodbye.